What's up? What's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. All right. So I have to graph these inequalities. So first thing I'm going to do is change these to all different colors so that I you can see them being drawn on the graph with different colors. Uh, let's see here. Let's make that uh, pink. Why not? Okay. So if I was to take the first one, and you know what, let's do this. I know that this is gonna be a solid line. I know this one's gonna be a solid line. And I also know this last one's gonna be a solid line. How do I know? It's all based on these inequalities. Because of that equal sign with it, that means they are going to be solid lines. If the equal sign wasn't there, then it would be a dotted line, all right? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this first one so now that I determine it's going to be solid, I can go ahead and get rid of this and just make it an equal sign. And to graph this line, I'm going to have to get the y by itself. So I'm going to add the x over to the other side. So I'm going to have a 3y equals x plus 9. All right. Then I'm going to divide every single term by 3. So I'm going to have y is equal to 1 third x plus 3. So let's go ahead and graph that. The y-intercept is 3. And I'm going to go down one, right three. So if I have it right, I'm going to have this line right here, right through there. Does that look about right? No. That looks better. All right. Oh, sorry. That is not correct whatsoever. I got to go up one right three, sorry, up one, right three. So it should be here, up one, right three. So I should have this right here. There we go, that looks better. All right, and what I can do is test the point zero, zero, because it doesn't cross uh, this the red line does not cross zero zero so I can test zero zero so I need to put the zero zero into the original Oops, I don't need the whole thing. I just need this part right here. So let's go ahead and test that right into it. So what I'm going to have is Zero minus zero and see if that's less than or equal to nine is zero less than or equal to nine and the answer is yes so therefore uh, when I ask Mr. Zero Zero if I'm on his team, he says, yes, you're on my team. So I go, okay, great. I'm on your team. I love it. So I'm on the green team. Not quite the dream team, but the green team. All right. So let's take up the second one here. And let's go ahead and bring that right here. Um, again, same thing. I'm going to just get rid of that part and just say equal to. And I'm going to get y by itself. So y is going to equal to negative 2x plus 10. So now we can grab that one. The y-intercept is 10. Whoopsies. Going to need a little bit more here, right? Uh, let's see here. Let's go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Then I have to go down to right 1. Down to right 1. Down to right 1. Down to right 1 down to right one. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. There we go. That looks about right. It's gonna be a solid line, great. Again, I can test zero, zero again, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and test zero, zero. But again, I have to do it with the original equation or inequality, I should say. So let's bring that down. And essentially, I'm going to have 0 plus 0. Is that going to be less than or equal to 10? And then, again, 0 is definitely less than 10. So Mr. Green says, Blue, you are also on the green team. So there that is. All right. So let's go ahead and do this as well. I'm going to go ahead and bring this equation right here over here to the right side uh, just so it is kind of out of the way a little bit all right all right there we go so now the last but not least this part right here so if i take this away 
and hit equals to, this is that y is equal to zero. Okay, if y is always equal to zero, then I can just make two points where the y value is equal to zero. So I can pick any number, two, three. So I gotta graph two, zero, and three, zero, and make a line. So let's see here. Two, zero, three, zero. Well, looks like it's gonna be a horizontal line. There we go. All right, so you see it. It's actually the x-axis right there. Actually, let's do this so that you can see it better. There we go. So you can see the thicker line. Now, the original said that it is greater than zero, right? If it's greater than zero, the y value is greater than zero, it's gonna actually go up and shade above because everything up here, guys, the y value is gonna be greater than zero. Everything down here is gonna be negative y value, so that's gonna be less than zero. So I'm gonna have this right here, and this is gonna shade upward. And there we go, okay? So if you look at this, what you're gonna see is that there is gonna be only one area because that there's three equation or inequalities here, there's only one area that's gonna be shaded three times, which is this triangle right here. In fact, let's do this. Let's make this a little bit thicker as well. And let's make this one, oops, thicker as well. So that we kinda kinda see all three of those lines. So essentially, not all of it is going to be part of my answer. It really is just, if I can do this with a steady hand, oopsies, break that line, break that line. Mm, that's gonna be hard to break, all right. No, 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 no. The blue line's right here. Uh, that's going to get broken anyways. All right. And then the red line here. There. And there, and there, and there. All right. So now I can use this one and get rid of the rest. all these and that and there you go there is going to be my solution right there and what choice is that that's going to be choice a and there you go well hopefully this makes sense if there's any questions please let me know talk to you later see you bye